Eva, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Tell me, Eva, tell me. <laughs> they don't know that this is decaf. <laughs> Cat's looking at Eva. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> what's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. This, I'll let you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna kind of take it over on this one. Uh, so one thing, uh, which we'll get to in a future Ooh. video, is we're gonna start kind of structuring things. It's more so for ourselves, just so you know we don't get caught up in, in life. I'm gesturing to her because she is our life now. Um, and so we're gonna start doing more videos, uh, definitely based around, a lot of it's around the house, lifestyle around the house. There's still some RV stuff coming up. Uh, so I'm gonna do a video just on that, I think this next week actually, or the video after this one uh, will be a little bit on that. So uh, stay tuned for what we're doing with the RV, or what I should say I am doing with the RV. <laughs> As you can see behind me, there's a lot of concrete sticking in a vertical fashion. Yeah, look at that. I did that. Yeah. I, I did that. All of it. Uh, all of it. Uh, we're having an engineer also check it out too, so uh, that's what I'm jumping into today. Uh, the actual main update of the house. So we kind of alluded to it a little bit, and I'm hoping the title of the video is chosen by Blair based on the one that, yeah, <laughs> title that I wanted to use or want to use is uh, something along the lines of um, like no more container or something along those lines because we are doing away with the container idea, uh, and that's because the <laughs> The issue with every time we want to change something, we have to cut into it with um, some sort of grinder or something angry like a blowtorch, <laughs> who knows. So we're not going to do that just because of just the logistics of trying to find someone to, to get out here and, and help me with it. I can do a lot of it, but again, I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Uh, not really a good idea to start there. So we're, we're going what's called stick built, just regular old fashioned home, just putting wood in a again a vertical fashion hopefully <laughs> and keep it there uh, hopefully. yeah hopefully that's, that's the plan that is the plan so the foundation is complete oh no and you have a immunity on your hand sorry just enjoy the wind Eva. so i talked to eric he's the guy that's kind of helping me structure uh you know somewhat of my time also holding me accountable also i'm hoping that everyone here here uh, can hold me accountable as well. So I know she will. Uh, look at that. Saying it on camera. Probably can't even hear it. Whatever. The next step is power, actually. Um, and so I'm not entirely done with my part yet. I still have to trench from. Uh, briefly show you. Yeah. So I have to trench from this corner right here. Uh, so about 300 feet. That away. Let's see, where is it? Ah, somewhere over there. Yeah, so all the way to the electrical poles. Yes, Eva? So, what that means is uh, I have to rent a rock saw. Uh, my friend knows where to rent it for like 100 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. Um, and then spend a day out here just tearing up land, just uh, a big divot all the way 300 feet, oh, semi straight that way. Uh, to a pole where I'm also going to have PEC, which is our local uh, electrical company. Uh, they're going to come out, uh, drop a line. Uh, the electrician that I have is going to be doing the meter and then run all the needed wires and such um, all the way to that corner of, of our house uh, where our panels can be. Uh, but we're going to put a T-pole in just for some temporary power for all these guys that are going to be working out here. And so my main goal by the end of either this week or next week, I'm kind of giving myself some leeway, which is where it starts. It's where the problem starts because then I keep putting things off. Um, but I, again, I have so many people. Yeah, okay, she's already complaining about it. So this week, I will have hopefully some bids by 
uh, pretty much one electrician, hopefully two, we'll see, because the one electrician I trust. Um, but you know, money's a factor too. And then we also need a uh, multiple plumbers, um, and it's also very specific for our needs here, uh, because the well that we're actually coming off of is quite a bit of a ways away as well. Um, and there's obviously another house in the way. Uh, so we have a couple of solutions for that. Uh, looking forward to getting into, into that whole situation. Uh, and then septic. I really don't want to do aerobic septic. Um, you know, the three tier system with the sprinkler and all that, it's nice. We may have to do it because of the land that we have out here. Uh, but I'd like to do traditional. It's what was actually put on this land before. Uh, just looking to kind of keep that the same just because I'm familiar with the thing. So those are the main things to get done right now. And obviously, like I said earlier, we're gonna have an engineer inspect everything. Uh, we're actually gonna have an inspecting schedule as well. Uh, so all the way through the process. Uh, I don't think they're the ones doing the flooring specs on this this guy. I think that's actually coming from the, uh, the people that are supplying the wood. Uh, so it's called a lumber pack. Uh, so those are all things that are happening pretty much within the next month. And then the work is scheduled out beyond that. So everything has to be planned, scheduled, budgeted, and then we move, um, and it should move pretty quick. In fact, the, uh, supposedly the structure of the house, not the dry, like all the way to dry in, but to where it's actually, again, vertical fashion. That should only take about a week, is what I was told. So, uh, but that's it's after. Like that's after we. Every single day, nonstop. Kind right. Of thing. Yeah. And, and they do that. Uh, they they kind of stick to you one job. To do that. Right. And that's what we're doing for sure. Cool. Um, but one thing is, I do want to help with every single part of it. So everyone I hire, I want them to have that understanding of like, I just want to know what you're doing, kind of thing. Um, I don't want to do it because that's your job and you know what you're doing. But I do want to kind of have an idea. So in the future, I can always maybe make some changes or whatever I need to do. So sounds good. All right. So uh, I have some pictures right here on my phone of kind of like the designs that we created. Uh, so we did do it on a, like a trial software, so we couldn't actually download the images, but we can take screenshots. So we just took a ton of screenshots. And so these are the things, the plans that we're going to be sending out for bids and things like that uh, to these plumbers, the septic guy, uh, I mean, whoever else there, there might be uh, here in the near future. Um, the things that we're putting off are AC. We don't need that towards the until about the end. And my idea is that we're just going to do either mini splits or maybe a mini split with some... Uh, what, what do they call duck work, uh, but it's all going to be exposed. Uh, so I've seen some of the, the ducks that they have out there today, and a lot of them look industrial. You can paint them. You can do all oh, yeah. the kind of, some of them come pre-painted. Uh, so they look nice. Um, and the way it's going to be is it's still kind of structured like our original design, which is, and you'll see on the picture, there's there were two containers with a big space in between. Uh, what we did is we kicked out one side a little bit. Again, you'll see that in the drawing. Uh, you know, a little more room for the master bath, and, you know, the, uh, well, not much room for the master bath, mostly just the master bedroom, um, yeah, our bedroom, her bedroom, however you want to look at it, really. And so uh, that room's kicked out about four feet. Uh, we can actually put a king-size bed so we can fit the whole fam, including the pups inside the bed, because <laughs> why not? She looks confused. <laughs> um, and so the way that the roof is going to go, it's going to be one of those offset kind of shed-type roofs, or... Uh, it's like a barn type of roof where it has windows along the spine of it so there's more natural light inside. Uh, so this roof will kind of sit off center a little bit. So it's going to be kind of a longer slope on one side and then kind of a quicker slope on the other. Um, but drop down because of those windows. It kind of drops down and then it keeps going. On the interior of the house, where the two containers would have gone, those spots are going to be flat ceilings just like you know we have in an RV. Uh, so you can reach up and jump and touch those ceilings pretty much eight or nine foot ce uh, ceilings or so but the entire center like the main room that's like uh, I think it's 16 feet by 30 feet roughly leading out to a deck uh, that's going to be uh, just lofted ceilings so tall ceilings with windows all down them uh, that's the idea so uh, that's where the ductwork is going to show uh, the other rooms will have ductwork hidden inside the ceiling so real easy uh, should be real easy and I'll be a part of a lot of that I'll be a lot of like it I come back in whenever we start doing like right after dry in as soon as the house is dried in which you'll see what all that means you know, after the moisture barriers I'll put up and everything that's when I come back in and start doing all the I'll go back and do the siding outside I'll do all the interior work including maybe tile if we want to do tile probably just do wood floors like a wood composite but this is all the stuff where it starts getting fun uh, and we also figure out exactly what budget we have left over 
so we can see how much fun we can even have. <laughs> like <laughs> we, a little bit of fun. Yeah, a little bit of fun. We may have to put off some Not fun till fun. later. <laughs> so, because uh, I am trying to work on a, a, a specific budget, we can get more money, obviously. But you know, you keep doing this in life. You just keep. Oh, it's just a little more, and then you end up paying for like another five years. So, trying to prevent that as much as possible. Um, but yeah, looking forward to this next step, really. Uh, that's, uh, in a nutshell, is what we're doing. Obviously, each one of those components I talked about, uh, there's a lot to it. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of probably arguing back and forth with people, and you know, the whole thing. So uh, definitely stay tuned for a lot of that. Uh, beyond that, uh, did you want to talk anything about the house? I know you don't know a whole lot about it. Because I, I did a lot of this stuff. We, we were really involved at the very beginning, and what I was doing is just making minor changes after the uh, the new materials were decided on. So um, I kind of just made some executive decisions on some things like um, no adding more space. Like, you know, things that I knew she wouldn't care. Like, I, I know she wants windows, and she wants more space. So uh, we kept the lofted ceilings, we kept the general design. Uh, the roof is the same, uh, the decks are still the same. So we're still having that inlaid design. So yeah, it should be pretty nice, nice to drive up to. Um, and then opened up to a, a big giant oak tree in the back. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm sure we'll cut open that oak a little bit. I really don't want to cut too much of that back because I don't want even the slight chance of anything dying off of it. Um, but then we're gonna hang some swings up in there and, you know, for the girl, the girl. It's <laughs> so, for me. I need swings. Uh, that's the bulk of the house. House. Uh, talk uh hopefully i mean let us know what you think about the designs uh they're still not completely finalized obviously we haven't started building yet so if if you any y'all know what you're talking about there and have some suggestions let us know maybe we can throw it in real quick um yeah, you can see where the windows are placed there is a bathroom that doesn't have a doorway yet <laughs> ignore that we're putting a doorway in there we just don't know which side so uh, we'll let the framers know. Hopefully they'll go. Have noticed it. Yeah, you, <laughs> the framers would have. They'd be like, uh, we'll just go by the specs. <laughs> so, all right. Well, that's it. Basically, uh, the, the last thing I did want to talk about is um, so we did hit twenty thousand subscribers, but we didn't stay there. Um, obviously, due to our <laughs> frequent hiatuses, it wasn't just one. It was like five hiatuses. So, um, you know, obviously, some people reached out to us. We're fine. <laughs> We're still making videos, just very sporadic. Uh, but we are on a schedule now, so there's going to be videos every Monday and Thursday, and then we might throw some extra stuff in there. Um, I had some videos in mind for Eva that I wanted to do, um, but we'll we'll figure out exactly <laughs> what we do. So um, hope you all enjoy them. Uh, we do want to do a, a giveaway again at 20k. Again, we got there. We have to get there, back. though. We have to get there again. So as soon as we get there, then we'll announce uh, the exact giveaway, or we'll announce it right before we hit it, somewhere right around there, exactly what's going to be involved in that um, and what we're giving away. Uh, so stay tuned for that one as well. And the last thing is uh, basically the Wondering Wyatts. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of RV stuff still, but the RV is not going to necessarily be it's not somewhere. Not anymore. Right, it's not our main component either. So nope. uh, the main thing is we are more than RV. <laughs> yeah, so like we we still are wondering, but wondering through life, so to speak. And we've said that in, in the past. And uh, so I think we're going to stick to more of that idea, I guess. But that obviously means possible name change. I don't know if we're going to name it something entirely different or stick with the wandering side. I'm still wearing the shirts, you know. Um, I mean, it's still com like a whole chapter in our life, mm -hmm. um, multiple years, three years or something like that. And then even some time leading up to it. And then, so, uh, the idea is that we'll probably, probably make a name change. If y'all have suggestions, uh, we've asked before, I did like some of them. I'm actually keyed on one. Um, and then, so we're going to not announce that yet because we still have to get that name. So, uh, we'll see. Um, but if you have name changes, name change ideas, let us know. Um, but anything else? <laughs> no, no. All right. Cool. Well, I'll let y'all get back to your day then. Have fun out there. Ava. I'm waiting for the meltdown. Ava, say bye. <laughs> say right, bye. Clap. Thanks for watching. Clap. Thanks for uh, sticking through this video. We'll get we'll get better Clap. at this. Clap. Yeah. We'll get better at this again. Yay. All right. I taught her that. Bye. <laughs> All right, bye guys.